morning everybody I'm just out with Bamba and I'll tell you what you have to have your wits about you when you're blind and you're out and about uh, we're just about four minutes away from home and we're here we've got this blind bend and just wait till the traffic noise subdues now we have a, a warning sign that flashes up down there and it says slow down when you exceed 30 miles an hour so everyone blazes through this part well not everyone quite a few people blaze through this part and they slow down at that sign well that sign is just a reminder because the 30 zone starts round that bend and about 200 yards down a hill so they should already be doing 30 here and I have heard cars and trucks and lorries and vans absolutely whiz past here far exceeding that 30 limit so anyway from Bamba the point I'm getting to is that last week there are still some remnants here two, ve two vehicles coming up the hill round the bend had a, had a coming together and you can see some disruption and maybe a traffic cone there so they took down some uh, speed limit signs there and they both careered across and they both ended up in this little wood here and there's quite a drop I was talking actually to one of the occupants of the cars uh, when I was out walking Bamba so it's quite a dangerous spot really they come round that bend a lot of them exceeding the speed limit two of them lost control one ended up in this part I do believe and one ended up just let me get my bearings on the bin right there's the bin and one ended up down there nobody seriously hurt just shook up obviously a plethora of support and emergency vehicles here uh, and they had to uh, get the vehicles out so anyway yeah even living in the countryside there are <laughs> there are dangers uh, of course so yeah there you go if you're blind or visually impaired and you're out walking and now I know that this is a trouble spot I do get a bit anxious coming around here now I have to admit it because uh, some cars really do whiz past there and there's, there's precedent now for some vehicles losing control and ending up in a ditch so there you go all right folks bye so we're just stood here now at the start of the village proper really and hopefully this car should trigger the speed limit so uh, back to where the scene of the incident was that happened about 20 minutes before I took Bamba for a walk so if we'd have been going earlier for some reason uh, we could have been hit and possibly killed so yeah if you are if you are blind or visually impaired uh, I'm not saying this you know to get you over overly anxious but just be aware and I certainly wouldn't recommend if you're blind or visually impaired walking down the road with your uh, your music on in your logos you know just be you know using your other senses to keep safe especially if you've got a guide dog or somebody else with you so there you go anyway better get back to workshop speak to you soon bye